Okay, I placed an instant cart order and I surprised Peter with some items. Guys, I just came downstairs and I'm seeing all the good things Mary got. Good morning, you guys. It is like crisp in the air, but it feels a little bit refreshing to have my bare feet in the chilliness. I wanted to give you a little cactus update while the sun is just shining so beautifully. It has been pretty overcast the last, I don't know, week. And so this sunshine is so welcome. And okay, you will not believe this. So this is one of my very first cactus paddles um i guess about a year ago we went i think we drove about 30 minutes i found these on facebook marketplace for five dollars each this woman just has a prickly pear in her yard and so she has them listed for five dollars a piece so i went and she gave me this one um i love that it's like a little heart shaped it is growing us three babies one two and you can kind of see a little something here that's going to be a baby. So I'm just, I mean, you know, I love these. This guy is a story of redemption. He rotted, I had to chop him off. He rotted again, I chopped him off again, and now he is growing and happy and grew us two babies. And now that I look at it, I kind of wonder if that is going to be another arm. I don't know. Don't worry. I'll keep you updated. And then this guy was growing a little baby and it's getting bigger. So cute. So cute. All right. There is your little cactus update for the day. Good morning, Ollie and Peter. They just got back from their walk. Peter's going to finish editing the vlog and Harry's gonna sit in his igloo. I'm gonna start my best and put some cacti in these pots. I'll use my little cactus tour as my inspiration. F-R-E-Y. Mary. Woo! I got a library card. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. I got a library card. It's temporary that I can use online until the library reopens. But um, that's all I need. I was hoping to be able to log in online and be able to listen to some books that I want to listen to. So, library card, check. Okay, I placed an instant cart order and I surprised Peter with some items. Well, I surprised myself with this one. I ordered one of these things of cookies a few weeks ago. They were like just brownie cookies, but these look really delicious. So I ordered pumpkin. I thought these were pumpkin bagels, but it's pumpkin spice. I'm pretty sure he's going to enjoy those. Some apple cinnamon oatmeal, whole berry cranberry sauce. So perhaps I will do like a, bye Harry. Uh, chicken, mashed potatoes, kind of like Thanksgiving style, and he really enjoys having cranberry. Chia seeds, because we realized he used to enjoy this kombucha that you can buy at like Target or whatever, and it used to have chia seeds in it, 
and it's very hard to find anymore. And we just realized the other day, how have we not added chia seeds to his kombucha yet? So that's something to try. Cinnamon apple chips. I know he likes these crackers, so I got those. This is just randomly sitting here. I did not surprise him with brioche buns, but there they are. So I'm excited for him to come downstairs and see it. Guys, I just came downstairs and I'm seeing all the good things Mary got me. Pumpkin spice bagels. You got me cranberry sauce? Yeah. Chia seeds. <laughs> Apple chips. Man, all the things I didn't know I needed in life and I actually do. Oyster crackers. This is exciting, honey. Thank you. I'm glad you're excited about it. All right, we gotta go run a couple errands. I gotta get a, a document notarized for tax stuff. And so, stop at the bank and we'll see what we get into. What's your opinion of these? I'm thinking they're gonna be pretty good. Secretly, I got them for me. Cause I know you didn't really love the last ones. I'm sure they'll be good though. Okay. I mean, you're welcome to have them, but that was in the uh, got for myself category. I just, <laughs> I wanted to give you full freedom to be like, I'm not into those. Well, I definitely want to try it. Okay, well let's try it. Okay. This will be my lunch. <laughs> oh wait, do you want an enchilada? Um, oh, I'm cookie will do. BLT? Mmm. These are better than the last ones. Oh, good. Let's go get notarized. <laughs> Did you have a plan for the cranberry sauce? Nope. I'm thinking I'm gonna do cranberry apple with cinnamon. Oh, it's like um Thanksgiving kombucha. I know, I got pumpkin. I have apple pie and... You do have pumpkin? This is pumpkin. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh no, I'm just saying, I've made it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I should have ordered more pumpkin puree. So, let's see how long it takes for the chia seeds to... Chia. Cha, 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 chia. Oh, because your kombucha is ready to be bottled? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do some cranberry apple and probably put some, a slice of ginger in there. Cranberry apple ginger, that would be good. Mm. And I'll just use a couple spoonfuls and then we can use this for dinner. I was thinking I could make like chicken and mashed potatoes and gravy and stuff. So like pretend Thanksgiving, yeah. That sounds really good. Okay. These apple chips. Are they good? They're really good, but they're really sweet. Like they're like coated in sugar. Oh really? But they're, they it makes them really good. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like the only like apple chips I've ever had are the like bear one or like I forget what the brand is, but it's like it doesn't have any added sugar. But huh. these are. Oh, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. They're good. Mm -hmm. Guys, Mary, I think Mary's on to something with this homemade kombucha chia. I think she told you I used to buy this, and I think Whole Foods still carries it, but I think it has a much shorter shelf life because of the chia seeds, so not many places carry it. Anyways, this. The, first of all, the pumpkin spice kombucha, and then combined with that. It's basically like a bubble tea kombucha. I mean, that's kind of the, it's just mini, chia seeds are like mini boba, so this might be a new treat for me. And I love this little glass Mary made it in. It's good for you. Yeah. Chia seeds are cheap? Yeah, that package was only like, I don't know, $2? And they go so far. Yeah. That's awesome. It, I mean, I feel like that only took like 15 minutes. Now, 
to like fill a whole glass. I wonder how many chia seeds that would take. Maybe a tablespoon, two tablespoons. Crazy. And they kind of puff up. Mm -hmm. Woo um, I was just bringing the pumpkins in because I want to try to take a pumpkin picture with Harry. Pumpkin picture with Harry. You hear it here first, people. I'm trying. Uh, did I just tell you guys this? I'm doing apple, cranberry, ginger, cinnamon. I'm trying to just throw all the fall flavors into into one glass. I think that's gonna be delicious. It is Wednesday when I'm filming this. So Wednesday typically is my like most medical heavy day as far as like maintenance stuff I just have to do. So I need to go upstairs and fill this up and I need to do sub QIG today. Um, I do that every other week currently until November when we're gonna retest blood work and then we'll see if we'll stay every other week or what we'll do. I plan to do both of those things, sub QIG and fill up my combler tonight, probably at eight or nine because I know that I'm just gonna be up in bed and then the infusion usually takes about an hour but it takes a little while to set it up as well and stab myself in the legs three times. So, yeah, it's all good. So I will do that. But first I wanna go for a walk because I've learned it hurts too bad to go for a walk afterward. So he just heard me say that. Do you think we should go for a walk? Yeah, let's get ready. Are you good to go for a walk now? Okay. As always. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, y'all. Good night. Bye.